Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has released a new Canary Channel Insider Preview Build 28020.1362, which rolled out earlier this week. So just a video to give you an overview as to what's new in this very early preview build of Windows 11. Now, this is a big update and Basically, what Microsoft is doing with this latest Canary Channel build is playing catch up because the features we're going to look at today have already been in testing in the dev and beta channel and are now making the way to Canary. And some of these have even rolled out to the stable version of Windows 11. So to some degree or the other, Microsoft is playing catch up in this latest Canary Channel build. So having a look at what's new. Now, first of all, Microsoft says that the full screen experience FSE is now available on more Windows 11 handheld devices. After its initial launch on Asus ROG Alley and ROG Alley X, FSE, Microsoft says, gives you a console style interface with the Xbox app, making handheld gaming clean and distraction free. And then if you're running a Copilot Plus PC, Microsoft says that the click to do context menu is being updated with a streamlined design, making it simpler to locate what you need. And what we're looking at here is Microsoft says that whenever a large image or table appears on your screen, the context menu will automatically pop up, making it quicker and easier to access the actions and results you need. And then sticking with Copilot Plus PCs, Microsoft says it's introducing new experiences to make it easier to modify settings in both search and recommended settings. So first of all, looking at recommended settings, and I do apologize for the image quality, but that's what Microsoft has given us from the release notes. Recommended settings now allows for faster changes by showing an inline agent action for recently modified settings. And then moving on to search, Microsoft says, it now shows more available results in the search flyout to discover what you're looking for and to allow you to quickly modify those settings. And then what we're looking at here, as an example, Microsoft says, when searching for increased volume within settings, a dialog is presented indicating that volume is already at the maximum setting and provides a slider to modify the value, as we can see in the image provided. And then sticking with Copilot Plus PCs, on supported Copilot Plus PCs, Microsoft says it's rolling out the ability to use Studio FX AI-powered camera enhancements with an additional alternative camera, such as a USB webcam on your laptop's built-in rear camera. And then for insiders with the drag tray feature, Microsoft says that the drag tray now supports multi-file sharing intelligently surfaces more relevant apps and enables seamless file movement to a chosen folder. And then dark mode, which is already rolling out to the stable version, Microsoft says it's made improvements to the dark mode in File Explorer, starting with key actions like copy, move, and delete dialogues. So you'll see a more consistent dark mode. And what we're looking at here is the new Discover dialogue in dark mode. And what you're looking at here is the new recycle bin dialogue in dark mode. Here's the new copy dialogue. And the new replace or skip files dialogue in dark mode. And I actually think that's a nice move, just making dark mode more consistent, where previously these all used to be in the legacy light theme. And then sticking with Copilot Plus PCs, Microsoft says for insiders with Copilot Plus PCs, it's updating the File Explorer search box placeholder text to raise awareness of the improved Windows search. And then moving on to mobile device settings, Microsoft says you can now directly add and manage your mobile devices from settings by navigating to mobile devices under the Bluetooth and devices section where this page now allows 
you to view your mobile devices, add new mobile devices, and manage features such as using your device as a connected camera or accessing your device's files in File Explorer. And then in this build, Microsoft says that it's modified references to Game Pass plans in settings to reflect updated branding and benefits, which could be viewed as an ad as well. So as mentioned, a lot of those features have already made their way into the stable version of Windows 11, but nonetheless, Canary is playing catch up. And then just to go through a couple of others that are mentioned in the release notes, which have already rolled out to the stable version. Microsoft says for Desktop Spotlight that it's trying out a change. So if we quickly right click, click on Personalize, head to Background, click on Windows Spotlight. Microsoft says that it's trying out a change that adds, if we right click, learn more about this background or in the stable it's called Explore Background and next desktop background to the context menu when you click on your desktop if you have Windows Spotlight chosen as your desktop background. And I actually think that's a very nice move in the right direction, just making that a little bit more easier to get to and a little bit more functional if you are using Desktop Spotlight. And then Microsoft says it's moving more keyboard settings from, com from Control Panel to Settings. So if we head to our Settings, Bluetooth and Devices, keyboard this includes the setting for character repeat delay rate character repeat delay and character repeat rate are now available under settings bluetooth and devices keyboard as you can see and if we head into accessibility text cursor the setting for cursor blink rate is now available on this page as you can see and those have moved over from the control panel into these settings, both of which have made it to stable. And then if we head to our homepage, Microsoft says that it's rolling out the new OneDrive icon, as we can see in accounts and homepage in settings. And then head into system recovery, quick machine recovery. Microsoft says that quick machine recovery now runs a one-time scan on PCs with settings, quick machine recovery, and automatically check for solutions when they are both turned on. That's already made it to stable. And then if we head to our system page, advanced, Microsoft says you can now turn on virtual workspaces In advanced settings and virtual workspaces, Microsoft says allow you to enable or disable virtual environments such as Hyper-V and Windows Sandbox. So that's found under settings, system, advanced virtual workspaces. So those have already made it to the stable version. And then last but not least, I almost forgot to mention, if we quickly head back to an image provided from the change log, there's a paint app update. where Microsoft says it's introducing the Collapse Toolbar feature in Paint. So to get started, you would open Paint and click the Chevron icon at the bottom right of the ribbon to enable automatically hard toolbar. Once the toolbar collapses, you can use the Show Toolbar button to bring it back and switch tools. So I actually think that's a nice UR interface tweak and adjustment. And that's a Paint app update rolling out to the Canary and the Dev channels. And then over and above those new features, guys, we've got plenty bug fixes rolling out. So as mentioned, build 28020.1362 in the Canary channel. Microsoft is really playing catch up and just introducing features that have already rolled out to the Dev and the Beta and the Stable into the Canary. And in effect, the Canary channel, as I've mentioned previously, is where Microsoft is testing features for 26H1, which will be the first feature drop rolling out for Copilot Plus PCs in the first half of next year. I've posted a video on 26H1. If you would like some more info, I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more information. So 26H1 
has been playing catch up in this latest build. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.